Suey has been my most loyal companion. She's had a great long life, but things are starting to catch up with her. You know, she's been through the ring and she's seen a lot of action hanging around with me since she was this big. And you know, a few years back, she was even diagnosed with cancer. Well, things are starting to catch up with my best friend. Suey's had her ups and downs, but she's always pulled through. She's part of the family, a real little fighter oh, right to the oh, end. Suey. Hey, Suey. She's Suey. talking about it. Like at four o'clock, she pulled the thing out of her wrist. She ripped the nose thing out. No, oh, really? I, I think everything wore off. Yeah. We were going to take that out today anyway, so that's okay. And do you think she's comfortable now, or do you think she's yeah, mate, got a bit mate, of pain? She's settled. Yeah. Hey, Mind you, it's like the good old days back in Daddy's swag, you know. <laughs> if there's one thing that gives Suey strength, it's the love and trust she's had for Steve ever since she first came into his life as a puppy. Hey, wait, I've got some cake in there, and she really likes this particular cake. Can she have a bit of cake? She can have a piece of cake. And I got fish and chips last night, and it was terrible because she had some fish. Okay. So whatever she wants okay. today. As every new person came into Steve's life, Suey sussed them out first and then made them hers. Now it's time to pay back some of that never-ending loyalty. Dr. John, Australia Zoo's chief vet, has decided she needs some specialist care. So as much as she hates it, Suey's off to the hospital for the full battery of tests, x-rays, and detailed medical examinations. Suey's seeing a specialist, and hopefully she can get to the bottom of what's wrong with Steve's best friend. So how old is she? She's 15, okay. She's had a lot of accidents and incidents yeah. through her life, yeah. um, various injuries, yeah. but um, occasionally she yelps when you touch the side of her head, yeah. and yesterday when I, she greeted me at the car and I always just kind of scoop up her face and give her a kiss yeah. and as I scooped she yelped and then I noticed her nose was bleeding. It's in like if you poke in there that's yeah. what seems to hurt her. Always the same good nature taking everything in her stride. The best way of imaging her face is to do a CAT scan so a CAT scan is basically a, an x-ray but it's a very um, advanced x-ray. So She'll need anaesthetic so Dr. John's inserting a catheter, ready to administer a hassle-free dose. You're getting sleepy, aren't you, Sue? We're giving our little mate every possible chance. We're grasping at any hope to save her life. Nothing is too much trouble for her. Suey's been through all this before, and just like always, she settles down and takes it all very calmly. Even before this latest problem, poor old Suey was down to one lung. She'd come through a bout of cancer and a list of other ailments as long as your arm. She's never had anything as comprehensive as these tests. She knows we won't leave her side for a minute. Now, Suey's got some options. She might have an infection. She might have a foreign body lodged somewhere in her side or head or it might even be a tumor, so let's cross our fingers and hope it's something simple and fixable. The results of all the tests so far paint a pretty gloomy picture. The diagnosis of her general health is that she's suffering all the advanced signs of old age. So the urine test has shown us that her kidneys aren't working as well as they should be in a normal animal, and that probably explains why she's drinking more lately. Well, that's just another bridge we'll have to cross. Once we see how she's doing, then we'll see what we can that's do about right. the kidneys. Yeah. Okay. The one that's really got us worried is the pain in Suey's head. Nothing so far is telling us what's going on inside. The CAT scan will take three-dimensional pictures of everything, all the cavities, all the tissues, bones, and muscles. The X-ray pictures are taken from every angle as the scanner rotates around Suey's head. It's about a hundred times more sensitive than a normal x-ray, and everything is enhanced and analyzed by a computer. Um, what we're seeing here is this is the right side, which is the normal side, which is air-filled. This is the side where we're seeing the abnormality and we can see this fluid line here, so it's air up the top and then we've got this um, fluid 
um, underneath it, which is, corresponds to about here in the skull, which is what we call the frontal sinuses. And that would certainly fit if that was blood with you know, what you're seeing with the, the nose bleeds. Right. Yeah. At least we know the probable location of the cause of Sui's constant pain, which is a lot more than we knew before. It's progress of a kind, but nothing we're finding is giving us much new hope. The next test means going in with an endoscope for a visual look at the problem. The endoscope has a light and a tiny camera on the end of a flexible tube with a cable to show close-up pictures on the monitor.